Welcome everyone. Uh, so my name is Ediz Setin and it's myself and uh, Vic Fortian that will be presenting this evening as Luke mentioned. So, so we are from the School of Engineering uh, within Macquarie University and, and we'll be providing you with an overview of the, the programs we have at the master's level available to you and you're going to be going in depth with the engineering management uh, program which we are very proud of so just to make a start uh, technology allowing let's see yes so, so school of engineering uh, what do we offer uh, in terms of programs we have four uh, master of engineering programs so so going in chronological order so we have the chronological order in terms of launch, we have the Master of Engineering in Electronics Engineering. We have a Master of Engineering in Networking and Telecoms, and that comes in two different specialization, the telecommunication specializations and internal things specialization that's starting in 2021. Master of Engineering Management, and you're gonna hear more about that from Vic uh, shortly, and Master of Engineering in Environmental and Safety Engineering. So we have four of these uh, programs offered in our, in our school. And so we started with electronics, then we've added telecoms, followed by engineering management and environmental and safety engineering. So in terms of uh, applications, if you are looking for a semester two 2020, so July uh, this year, we are accepting applications for Master of Engineering in Electronics Engineering and Master of Engineering Management uh, only. Given the COVID-19, uh, we had to uh, make some adjustments as did the rest of the university. So those two are available for application second semester of this year and the rest and all of them will be available for session one in 2021. And I have some of the details for you. So we have 27th of July, uh, 2020 start for this year and 22nd February 2021. So all our degrees, the, the postgraduate degrees, they are they vary from one year to two years, and and depending on on your uh, background, so you should you, you are able to to either undertake a two year degree or a one uh, one year. So in general, we have two main zones. So 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 we went through quite a bit of restructuring of our programs for 2020. And so we have this very nice zones, we call them now. So foundation zone and the core zone. So we have eight units in each zone. So, so we, our courses are called units. So we have, the, we have the master's program, which consists of 16 units in total. So eight in the foundation zone and eight units you have in the core zone. And so two of those zones combined make up the 16 units we have, and that's equivalent to two years of uh, study. So out of these, you have certain units which are core and some others which are optional. And majority of our programs, apart from engineering management, we have two units dedicated for, for research uh, projects. So Vic will give you a bit more information about the, the difference engineering management has uh, later on. So 16 units in total, eight units per year and four units per semester. And one unit in terms of credit points equals to 10 credit points. So this is the general uh, structure. So why School of Engineering? Uh, so all the programs within our school are delivered by academics that are internationally recognized in their respective fields. So we not only teach, but we are also active researchers as well. So you will be exposed to our research work. So it's a high tech research enriched environment that, that we offer as well as extensive exposure to engineering innovation and of course the world leading expertise. So with that comes our state of the art uh, cutting edge engineering facilities uh, provided by the school as well as the university, uh, be it in terms of collaborative learning spaces, our robotics field 
and the wind tunnel, to name a few. So I think it's also important to highlight that our MEng, so Master of Engineering programs, they not only prepare you for high-tech careers and roles, but there's also flexibility built in, whereby you're able to improve your project management skills or, or professional engineering skills. So, so if you're doing a technical, let's say you do electronics, you're able to choose units from engineering management and, and telecommunications and safety engineering, for example. So you have that opportunity as well. And typically in the core zone, I forgot to mention, but typically you have four course units that are core and you have four that you can, you can select, so electives. Um, we have close links with public and private organizations. So to name a few, we have BAE Systems, Cochlear, Optus and Honeywell. We are located in Australia's largest high-tech precinct. So, so Macquarie University itself, as well as the school, we are in Macquarie Park. So we have a number of uh, industries and companies around us. So that's a great opportunity uh, there. In addition to uh, these, we also have student groups. We have two established student groups within the school, MQ Speeds and Macquarie Orbital. In the next slides, I'll, I'll give you a bit more details about, about them. So that these are societies, uh, groups that you can join and contribute uh, and be part of. And also we are pretty proud to, to mention that our telecommunications engineering is ranked in the top 10 in the world. So, so based on the global ranking of academic subjects 2019 and Macquarie is ranked number one in Sydney for overall graduate employment in engineering. So that's Quilt 2017. So these are the, the main reasons, the, the key features that School of Engineering bring to you. In terms of student groups, as I mentioned, we have two groups, MQ Speed and Macquarie Orbital. And so the MQ Speed is, is basically looking at human power, looking at breaking the human powered land speed record. And you can see the, the team on the left hand side of the, the slide here, and that's their vehicle MQ, MQ1. So they've been at the Battle Mountain in the USA for the competition. So, so it's, it's quite a lot of fun to be part of the team. And the other one is Macquarie Orbital. This is a bit dear to my heart as well. So this is a student-led space program. So the aim is, is building a spacecraft. So in this case, we are building a, a, a 30 centimeters tall uh, a CubeSat, a small satellite, MQ1, as you can see in the figure, and looking at other terrestrial support. So these are the groups that, that you can join uh, that, they, that they live in within the School of uh, Engineering. Um, some of our industry partners, so we have a variety of them. So I'll just try to uh, capture some of them here uh, for you. So we have a number of companies and being in Macquarie Park and, and at Macquarie University, you're exposed to these industry partners as well. Um, in terms of employment prospects, what we have here is the statistics from Engineers Australia. And this is looking at engineering vacancies in Australia, starting from 2016 all the way to March 2019. We are waiting to hear about uh, the 2020 uh, uh, results, which will come in later on uh, this year. So as you can see, there's a big demand for civil, electrical, uh, industrial, mechanical and production mining, uh, ICT, electronics engineers. So we had some peaks in 06 to 09 and then 010 to 13. But as you can see, the numbers are uh, increasing. So there is a demand for uh, graduates in this domain. And so this is from July, 2019. And we can look at the, the latest results uh, for January to March, 2020. So this was released in May 2020 by Engineers Australia and looking at uh, the certain area, this is average number of engineering vacancies uh, in Australia. As you can see, you have civil engineering, uh, you have civil engineering there, 
you have electrical engineering, you have engineering managers, you have electronics engineers. So as you can see, these are the numbers for the first quarter of this year. Of course, given COVID-19, things might look a bit different at the end of the year, but uh, once we have that information, we'll, we'll know. But, but there is pretty interesting employment prospects out there. And also us being within this uh, uh, precinct is, is a great, great bonus. So we have these companies at our uh, doorstep. Um, I think that's the main things that I wanted to, to highlight. Uh, and then at this stage, I would like to pass the floor on to Vic, and he's going to give you a bit more in-depth inform information about uh, our Master of Engineering Management uh, uh, program. Uh, Vic, I'm ready when you are. Uh, thanks, Adiz. Um, uh, good evening, everybody, um, and, um, and welcome. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about the Masters of Engineering Management program, which is a, a very, it's a, it's a new course. We started this year. So uh, could I have the next slide, please, Adiz? Yep, I will be the, there you go. So um, the course um, is essentially uh, an MBA for, for engineers. Um, it, it's, as I said, it's a, it's a master's degree that, that bridges the gap between uh, engineering and, and business and business administration. Um, it's a multidisciplinary, uh, you know, field. And what we've done is we've, we've actually enhanced um, what would be a, an MBA or a master's of management uh, for engineers. So um, it's, it's full time. And uh, we start, as I said, uh, the, the first session this year. And, um, and so far, we've had a, a, very, a very, very good response. We've had over 60 students apply this year, which for, for a program, 60 students is, is an absolutely excellent result. Uh, can I have the next slide, please, Adiz? So uh, as I said, uh, the key feature is that um, it is an interdisciplinary um, uh, degree. In other words, uh, it's, it was developed both uh, with the School of Engineering and Macquarie Business School. Some of you may know Macquarie Business School, it's the old Macquarie Graduate School of Management. Um, uh, a few years back, uh, MGSM got integrated with um, the School of Finance, um, Business and Economics, and, um, and now it's called uh, MQBS. And so um, it, it's, it's a two year degree, full time. Uh, and as I said, it covers a lot of the, um, the key aspects of, of an MBA. Uh, but what we've done is we've, we've provided uh, extra opportunities for people who are, who are engineers that would require um, specialization in a number of subjects. And I'll, I'll talk a bit about that a little later on. Um, uh, can I give the next slide, please? It is. So why, why MQBS? So um, those of you may not be aware, up until a few years ago, before we merged, um, uh, you know, Macquarie Graduate School of Management was one of the best management schools in Australia. In fact, um, I think around about 2017, we're in the top 50 business schools in the world. Um, and so it, it has a very, very good reputation and um, the, both the faculty and the research area is, is you know, world class. Um, we also have a very large alumni, over 20,000 uh, people who graduate with, with their masters in either business administration or with uh, management. We're also AACSB um, accredited. And so uh, we come with a lot of heritage, um, a lot of experience and, and a lot of uh, reputation in this area. N next slide, please, it is. So uh, our core structure, uh, as we uh, you know, mentioned earlier, we have we, we deal in uh, credit points, and so um, uh, 80 of the credit points are based on um, uh, our, uh, our what we call essential units, 40 which are um, compulsory or essential, and the other 40 which are elective. Um, you know, more than half of our course is taught through. Uh, MQBS, so the Macquarie Business School. So next slide, please, it is. Um, so a lot of uh, the career opportunities. Um, 
So uh, before I go into the career opportunities, just a bit about some of the courses that we've, we've enhanced. So uh, I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a chemical engineer who has an MBA uh, at Macquarie. My PhD is actually in business. So I kind of like straddle both um, areas of both engineering and, 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 and business. And what we've done is we've developed courses um, that are very, very specific for the engineers. You know, courses around project management, uh, manufacturing, um, you, know, you know, when we talk about, the, for example, in an MBA, we, we might, we, we deal with um, operations management and within operations management, we may only talk about uh, procurement or quality as a single lecture. But what we've done is we've actually developed courses on quality, courses on procurement, how we would, um, you know, manage our, our spend to do large capital projects. So, it's very, very interesting. It's very, very um, uh, to the point where, where uh, you know, these subjects are very, very usable. Uh, when people leave, uh, they, are, they are taught by uh, people who are in this particular field, either procurement professionals, quality professionals, project managers, uh, etc. So career opportunities. There are, uh, if you go into, uh, you know, websites like SEEK, you, you know, you type in engineering manager, you know, last year there was about like 874 positions came across. So lots of opportunities. And if we could go to the, the next slide, please, it is. Um, the, you can see that there are um, uh, many, many jobs where, uh, uh, you know, these, these qualifications suit people who are not just engineering managers, but um, not just engineers, but people who are going to pro uh, progress within their organization, either as a, as a you know, manager looking after an engineering function or, or even further up. So as we said, this is really like an MBA uh, for engineers. And there are a lot of career opportunities, many, many industries um, that uh, would take up um, people with these particular uh, qualifications. So a, a lot in the, um, the mining, the oil and gas, uh, construction, defense, um, you know, the, the list, list goes on. So, uh, you know, real exciting area to be in.